Hello friends, welcome back. Now I'm going to work on my cart page. So just type here cart.php. Here is uh, one problem. Undefined index because of uh, I'm not uh, login till now. So I uh, we need to login to show here cart. Otherwise you can disable this page by doing this. This is your index page. This is your file page. and copy this code and come to the cart page just give a enter and paste it here save this page and just press enter again so we come back to the index.php because uh, till now we not logged in so uh, if you want to go cart page cart.php it uh, takes you to the index page so I'm giving my email address and password login so I'm in my profile page now I can go to the cart page through this so come back and this is the cart page just move down and here Where is our cart? Its code is so large. Not cart page, actually, my profile page. So, this is cart, and this is a link within this. Our cart is present. So this is href. Remove this and type cart.php. Save this and refresh. Click on cart. Something happened. Not happen. Href cart.php. This is cart. Oh not his hash save this again and, and this is actually the main cart drop down cart and this was the actually um, nav bar cart let me confirm cart.php save this and refresh it again just click on this cart so we are in cart page we have uh, we have one product so come back to the home page through typing profile or index whatever you want so just click on add to cart add to cart add to cart we have four products and just check out this so we have uh, these four products now i'm going to increase quantity update okay product is updated and now i'm going to delete one this emergency light now i'm going to count this uh, total for each user so come to the code and this is the action page this is uh, update cart just move up where is our code this is a uh, this is actually the main code where I'm fetching my database cart product get cart product uh, uh, or is set cart checkout so this is the while loop and keep this into an and price underscore array equals to um, array dollar copy this total copy it from here and paste it here now dollar total underscore sum equals to array underscore sum in bracket dollar 
copy this prize array and paste it here so now we have total underscore amount equals to dollar total underscore amount plus dollar total underscore sum and create a variable dollar total underscore amount equals to one save this variable check yeah it is fine and now here is our while loop else part before this come to the cart page and this is the div which I remove which I added earlier so I'm going to remove this comment save this uh, you can pause your video and copy this code total which I have added uh, in the absence of you so save it and refresh this is so total 50,000 actually not 50,000 it's uh, 5 lakh so come to the code and this is the total and keep this this is actually in our panel panel body in which we have uh, card products with quantity price and total each amount so keep again this into the comment and this is also copy this from here and come to the action page uh, find out where where our while loop is ending so this is our end of while loop if just copy this code and put this echo And remove all the double quotes with single quotes save it and copy this cart cart checkout move down paste it here save refresh your page yeah we have two total why because till now we have not saved it save it again and refresh so we have this product, uh, this counted product. So I'm going to increase the quantity four and update it. So it is it says product is updated. Continue shopping. Refresh it. The amount is not changed. Why? problem 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 I know the problem yes it is actually dollar total let's go empty save this variable and check it yeah come to the code refresh so we have the exactly correct product now I'm going to uh, change the quantity to increase save and when we refresh it it is exactly uh, this so come to the code and do one change main.js here is our checkout function you remember checkout function yeah exactly this copy this checkout function and paste it in the update save this and refresh 
now change this quantity to update it so it automatically changes it says and now I'm going to change this also it is changed because it is 2 already 3 yeah it says 76901 and without refreshing you notice it is 2x actually increase 3 update yeah and now I'm going to delete it changed automatically 6901 again deleted 3001 again deleted vanish next php so we are in profile page and 35000 add to cart and just come to the code just increase the quantity of the laptop and update this this is now 35000 one now it is 70000 why it is one here it is exactly 35000 it should be 70000 not 70 70001 Mistake is yeah it should be zero because we are going to add not multiply now it is 70,000 so I hope friends you like this video and uh, uh, I hope you keep watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, I have got a, a request from one of my friend uh, who is nothing but uh, Karthik Pandyan for the pagination and admin panel. So in the next tutorial, I will show you how we can paginate our product page. Actually, I want to show you in text.php. Uh, in this page, I have nine products. Uh, randomly, I am showing when I refresh each time it shows random product so i will work on this page for pagination so uh, you can add your products so many products in your cart for the next tutorial thanks for watching